Now that I think about it, your girl should have cheated. <laughs> Hi boss babes, it's your girl Stephanie. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. So today, um, and I know last video I promised that, you know, if you guys leave some things in the chat or maybe my next video, I would let you know a little bit about myself. Um, so I don't necessarily know what to share. So definitely the questions would need to be there because I don't want to like say too much or say some things and somebody's like, who cares and it's like wow you know what I mean that can actually <laughs> be a thing so I'll just wait until you know you all have questions and I can do a Q&A um, for you all so today's topic right we are going to talk about the C word okay um, it's not I don't think it's, it's not what you think right I do want to start off by sharing a little story with you all and this is a story of me um, when I was with an ex prior to marriage, right? I was with this guy and um, we were dating, I want to say for like a year and a few, I guess months, if you want to say. And so we were dating and I knew he wasn't for me, okay? Um, I just knew it. We just had two different lifestyles and um, I would pray to God. Sometimes it's so funny because it's like we're praying, but you know the answer. And that's the crazy part because you know the answer, but you want to pray anyway. And let me just tell you how God will reveal immediately. Sometimes I'm like, chill, God, like I just prayed about that, right? So I remember praying that we were, like I said, we had two different lifestyles. Um, he more was, he more so was in the, to the nightlife, right? And I was, you know, I was more so the way I am now, like um, a homebody, a Christian, uh, going to church, ministries, work, whatever, right? And so I remember praying to God and I said, God, just let me know because time was passing by and I didn't want to waste any more time. Just let me know if this guy's for me, blah, 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 right? Certain things you already know. Anyway, I prayed, I want to say the night before and I asked God, please reveal to me if this guy is for me, right? So the next morning, we used to have this routine where he would FaceTime me or vice versa, and um, we would talk. Now, at this particular time, um, he said, we started speaking, everything was okay. He said, I'm gonna call you back when I get to like the office or whatever. So I'm like, okay, sure, no problem. Mind you, the night before, I prayed about it, right? Or the day before, I don't remember, but it was just that expeditious, right? Expedited. And so I did that. And then he called me back, right? But unbeknownst to him. And if you guys have iPhones, you already know. If you receive a FaceTime call, right? Um, you cannot be on the phone as well. So this just happened. The Lord, <laughs> you know, put a glitch in the system where I received the FaceTime call, but he's actually on the phone, not knowing that it FaceTimed me. And so things that I heard... Um, you know, him upset, arguing with some other lady saying, I know you would have been mad that I slept with her. A lot more explicit things, um, but confirming that that's what was going on. <laughs> okay, just want to put that out there. And then he realized that I was on the line and looked super shocked. I looked shocked as well. Um, and I was actually at work. So I was at Oh, wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> let me go to the bathroom and collect my thoughts. Okay. So um, long story short, that was the end of that, right? I definitely was like, yeah, no, we're not, we're not doing this. Um, and so that was the end of that, right? Um, now that I think about it, your girl should have cheated. Nah, I'm just playing. Honestly, unless I'm subconsciously serious, but joking. That's not the word that I want to use. Um, honestly, I don't even think it's worth cheating. Um, me personally, that's just what I believe. I just feel like, you know, if you're going to give your all, if you know that, you know, it's not going anywhere, then walk away, right? Because oftentimes people have this lifestyle and it's like, oh, I'm cheating or, you know, you don't know this person is cheating, but it's just like what's the point? Like, why cheat and 
be in a relationship. Sometimes people have an understanding, but even that gets dangerous and tricky and testy because your feelings are involved, of, involved right? It's not like it's a clear cut thing. A lot of things happen with that. So I just feel like don't do it if you're going to give your all give your all and then if it doesn't work out that's fine at least you know that you did what you could do and that just wasn't the one for you trust me <laughs> i'm still standing you're gonna live trust me you'll be fine it's not the end of the world um so anyway i say that to say um that i feel like i was not committed to myself so that's the c word that we're going to be talking about today committed commitment okay and by definition commitment means the state or quality um of being dedicated to a cause activity whatever it is right and so also i wasn't committed to god i want to say right because i was still tiptoeing and even though i knew that that's where i wanted to be with god do what i got to do with him um i was still playing around right and so i say that to say the word commitment commit i'm encouraging each and every single one of you all to commit to yourself right oftentimes especially as ladies right um and i can't say only ladies i'm pretty sure you know guys you sometimes lose yourself right you start to drift off you do other things and like you're committed to people friends the wrong people and or friends right um and, and and it just becomes a routine but then you don't commit to yourself the things that you said that you were gonna do for yourself you didn't do it right because now you're so engulfed with this other person this relationship these people or whatever and you put yourself on a back burner so like i said commitment means that it's like one of the definitions is the state or quality of um being dedicated to a cause and activity or whatever have you right um and so i want to encourage each and every one of you all to start with yourself commit to yourself and another thing that i find so very ironic right we often talk about loyalty right which can be a commitment um however we're not addressing the fact that it's toxic loyalty, right? Or it's one-sided, meaning it's not reciprocated, right? And so sometimes people are like, oh, no, I'm loyal. This person is loyal. And then they're not seeing how that person is not loyal to them. Because if they were, would they put you in that situation? Would they really put you through that, drag you through the mud and do all that stuff? Nah, you understand? So again, I'm here to let you know, to remind you of who you are and to start with yourself. Commit to yourself. Commit to your dreams. Commit to your goals. Do what it is that you were purposed to do because we got people waiting on you, okay? Everybody is assigned to somebody. There's something that you need to do and that person, somebody's musty son, some, you know, people who are not for you are taking up time because we're allowing them to take up our time. So again, I just want to encourage each and every single one of you all to choose to commit. And that is to commit to yourself, commit to your goals, commit to your dreams, and everything else will follow thereafter, okay? So I hope that this kind of, you know, gave you some type of revelation, some type of like empowering, empowerment um, for yourself because you all you got, right? And you can't, honestly, you can't take care of anybody else. Hear me when I say this, you cannot take care of anybody else unless you take care of yourself first. And that takes commitment, right? You have to commit to yourself to take care of yourself in order to take care of others, okay? So with that being said, um, I hope to see you all soon. I'm so glad that you stayed to the end of the video. Um, thank you for watching, right? Again, like I said, I'm here to just empower and motivate. And we're going to get this thing called life right okay this journey that we're on we're not we're all in it together you're not alone so i just want to encourage each and every single one of you all to be encouraged okay do what it is that you need to do for you it was a pleasure speaking to you all i thank you so much for watching till the very end and that's all i got okay till next time you'll see me very soon i promise because i'm committed to this Okay. Um, and we'll talk soon. Okay. Bye.